YouTube. What's up? It's your boy Just Nice. Thank you for tuning into my channel, Food with Just Nice. Uh, today is Super Bowl Sunday. Yeah, I got my Browns on today. You know, obviously they didn't make it, but you know it's okay. Maybe next year. Um, but today I'm gonna be making a couple dishes for you, so you can make them for the games or anything, anytime you want. And I'm also gonna be cooking for the family for tonight for like a Valentine's Day, before the Valentine's Day meal. So I'm gonna be making some chicken and vegetable curry pastelijos with some shepherd's pie pastelijos made with bison meat. And I'm also gonna be making like a chicken alfredo Cajun pasta with some lovely heart pasta shaped pastas for Valentine's Day. So let's go. Today in this video, I'm actually gonna be able to use my famous bowl that I always talk about that I never get to use. So um, I'm gonna first start off with some of my mixtures for my pastelijos. So the first thing is I wanna make sure I got my bison meat ready. I'm gonna pop that over there in the pan in the few. I got some of these carrots that I'm about to dice up. And I got some onions and I got some celery that I'm gonna dice up. I got some sweet potatoes I'm gonna put in for one of them with the vegetables. And pretty much once I start getting everything together, I'll come back right to you. So with the celery, I just take it, slice it a little bit down like this. Don't really need too much. You kind of want a little bit for the flavor, but I'm just going to chop these up. Some babies together like that. You notice how I keep my little thumb out the way, you know. Sweet potatoes, I'm just going to give them babies a nice little dice. You know, trying to keep them small a little bit, but we're going to saute them and stuff like that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my bison meat, drop it in my pan in the back. Put a little bit of olive oil in that baby back here. Take my carrots, take some of that celery. Take my garlic. Everything in there, my meat. Uh, these are the Valentine's Day pasta that I was telling you up about that I'm gonna be making with my Cajun pasta. I just thought these are super cute with the hearts and stuff in them, and it kind of, you know, goes perfect with Valentine's Day. So I got my pasta in there. I'm just trying to cook this, get this out the way a little bit while my bison and my uh, vegetables are cooking for the shepherd's pie pasalijos got everything on there so what i did was added sweet potatoes in there just a little bit of them just to kind of give that little that meat inside those pasalijos a little bit of flavor usually they they put regular potatoes in there but uh i like sweet potatoes better i don't really eat a lot of regular potatoes too much Okay, so what I'm going to be doing is taking my sweet potatoes, some more celery, some onions, a little bit of garlic left, and I'm going to saute that up. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is take this mixture. This pan so to cool off. Okay. 
This comes pre-made already. It's like a quinoa with some sauce. I'm not going to use the sauce. I'm just going to use a quinoa to kind of give this like a little better filling. Yeah, I got the little one hand crack. Then what I'm going to do is put a little bit of cheese in this. Next, I'm going to put a little bit of Jiffy mix in this. Sprinkle it, not a lot. Okay, so what I'm doing now is just cleaning my chicken. Getting it real, getting it ready for the uh, for the pan. And I'll show you a quick, easy way how to do this. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my veg vegetarian filling, which is basically olives, a little bit of quinoa, green peas, carrots, onion, celery, and a little bit of cornbread mix and sweet potatoes. And I'm gonna put these right here. I use your hand and it's a little it's a little messy but that way you could kind of push it in shepherd's pie mix what I did was add a little bit of those green peas into this and I'm gonna just load these up like that okay I'm gonna just drop a few of them in here like that you don't need the fryer too hot you know they burn up so fast you just want to cook them nice and light let that dough cook Separate it a little bit. Eventually, what they'll do is start to get real brown on one side. It'll start to fry up, looking like that. I like them a little bit more golden brown. Is I'm gonna get ready to make the sauce. I'm just gonna take a little bit of this butter. This sauce is easy, but a lot of people like to make it harder than what it is. Other little pasolitos going over here. Yeah, I'm multitasking. Let me crank this baby up. It's taking forever. We'll add just a little bit of flour to that like that I just add a little bit of olive oil because it gives it Alfredo good little taste make like a little quick little roux. Let that flour in there cook for a few minutes. Cook that starch out of that flour. Well, you see I'm using a plastic whisk so I don't mess up my, my pan. my seasoning in there, not my seasoning, but a little bit of Cajun seasoning.
like they want to have a little wing on it. A little tail. <laughs> I like food, have a little brain sometimes. Mm -hmm. Move that around a little bit. I just smell that Cajun cooking. Chicken done in the oven now, 500 broiled it. Takes about 10, 10 minutes, maybe 15. Then what I want to do, put my chicken base. What you want to do is add a little bit of cream once that starts to boil and start to thicken a little bit. There's the heavy whoopy cream. And let that simmer and boil. Okay, so once I'm, what I'm gonna do now is let it boil. Let flour gonna start to thicken in that sauce, and then I'm gonna add my Parmesan cheese to that. Let that simmer for a little bit. Pasta right there. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just cut my chicken. I like to cut it to a bias a little bit so you can make sure, you know, see it better if it's fully done. Plus it looks a lot better when you put it on a plate. hearts on there. Get it a little bit of that side. I like a lot of sauce on mine. It is an Alfredo, so. Thank you for watching my channel. Don't forget to press that like button and subscribe to my channel. Uh, this is that Cajun chicken with the hearts Valentine's Day noodles. So let's try it real quick. Mm. That sauce is so cheesy. Chicken is juicy. Can't go wrong with that one. Vegetarian um pastelitos. Side of it. I'm gonna do is I'm gonna dip this in my tandoori sauce. And this is my vegetarian samosas. Well, this is not samosas. These are my vegetarian pastelitos, but flavor like a curry samosa. Add in my little sauce. Mmm. This tastes way better. Put that sweet potato in there, the peas. That curry flavor just right. I promise. 
and get a better Super Bowl uh, food than this. So these are my ones with um, the shepherd's pie. Let me show you one of those. Not this one. This one a little ugly one. Shepherd's pie, possibly Jones. Let me try it. Oh man. I now did myself. And the funny thing is, I ain't never made either one of these. <laughs> Once again, thank you for watching my channel. Don't forget to subscribe to it. Uh, Food and with Just Nice. And enjoy the Super Bowl. I hope some of these things that you can make and try. I'm telling you, you won't be disappointed. And I'll see you next time. Peace.